Hello everyone, it's Christine here and I'm back for another episode of our Stitch Along. And I've got another fun cross stitch for you this evening. So I'm working my cross stitch on this Hessian sack or burlap um, sack as it is called in some places. Uh, and I'm using my fuchsia punch needle thread. So I've just cut myself a nice long piece of it. Um, and I'm just going to hold um, the tail at the back as I bring it through. So for herringbone, you're going to want a, a reasonable distance um, upwards and across to work. So I'll start it, think about down here. So I'll draw my thread through, but just hold on to the tail and sort of tuck it over so we get some stitches, some stitches over it. And then I'm going to count up about four, I think. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to count across four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to count back two stitches from there, backwards. I'm going to pop my needle out backwards from across the top. And then I'm going to count four stitches across. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, get down to did the same distance down the bottom. And then I'm going to put that stitch in. And then I'm going to count back two stitches from where I went down and pop up. And you'll start to get to see the pattern. And then I'm going to go across four, so three, four, and up. And then back two stitches. And then across four, which means I can just go from that stitch and count another two and then be in the right place. Did I get that right? Yes, down to there. And because it's hessian, it won't always be totally even because sometimes they're slightly thicker, thicker ones. Like that's a particularly thick one that's almost the width of two. So I'm just going to go to the other side of that. And that will be perfect, I think. And then again, we're going to count for two from here and go up. And then two back. From there, didn't actually manage to get those stitches, so I'll tuck that over in later on, and then two from there. So you can kind of just follow the, the line down in your fabric so you don't have to count in both directions. And then two along from here and follow the line up, and then go back to. Forward two and down. And then again, I've got quite a thick piece here, so I'm just going to go back one because one is the equivalent of two, really, by the looks of it. Okay, and then forward one, two. So you're always going forward four, but I'm just counting two from where the previous stitch was because it's easier. And then one, two, and down. Back two. Again, it's quite a thick bit of hessian, so I'll just go back one on my piece and then forward one and two. And then back two. One looks a bit too long. I think I might have miscounted that one by one. Let's just recheck. One, two, should have been there. Maybe I had it right. Maybe again, it's just a thick piece. Oh yeah, it is a thicker piece of hessian there. So maybe I'll just do a do my one stitch there. One, two. And we've got quite a thick piece of hessian. I might be able to separate it with my stitch. So it's not without its challenges using hessian, but I do like the effect, so I'm glad I did. Okay. 
as you can see it's a very tight weave of the the hessian in this particular bit so I'm just having to kind of make my holes a little bit but you'll be able to see if it doesn't kind of look like it's um yeah sitting where it should and you can just yeah easily take the stitches take the stitches out you can almost start to do it by eye you can almost kind of lay the thread where it should be and then work out where you're needing to take it down if you don't want to don't want to count Actually, though, I just noticed I didn't um, take it down further enough on that last stitch. I'll just take it back one step. Oops. Just unwind. I'll go back to properly counting because clearly that's that's better than doing it by eye and not getting it quite right. Let me just pull that stitch out. So let's properly count forward. One, two. Make sure we're going down far enough, which is to there. That's the mistake I made. I just didn't go down quite far enough. And then back two. And then forward two. One, two, one, two, and again I've got a thick piece of hessian but we'll just divide it with the needle. And then one, two. So I hope you're having a great day or a great evening. Not much to report. It's the working week here. So <laughs> on the weekends, I tend to have more exciting things to report. Not wildly exciting, just <laughs> exciting in the scheme of in the scheme of my life, which is enough excitement for me. One, two. So I might divide and conquer. And then one, two, almost there. And one, two, down to there. Okay, so there we go. That is our um, herringbone stitch. Give you a close up look. So you get those nice little crosses at top and bottom. Oops, got a bit of something else falling onto my work. Hope you enjoyed learning that one, and we'll see if there's any more um, cross stitching to do. Otherwise, we'll be moving on, I think, to crow's feet. So that's a new one for me. I'll see you in the next stitch along. Thanks, folks.